Hey y'all, it's Victoria and I am back with a haul y'all, but y'all, y'all, this is the most epic thrifting haul I think I've had ever. It was a good day to be at the thrift stores, I tell ya. So I went on another thrifting trip with my girl, Alicia, over at Murray Life. She recently put out a thrift with me about our trip. Today, I'm gonna share with you the footage that I took from that shopping trip. And I'm gonna share with you all the crazy finds I got in New Orleans. Be sure when you're done watching my video that you head over to Alicia's channel, which I'll have linked below, and watch her haul from this day in New Orleans because she had an epic haul too. So stay tuned, watch the footage of our fun little shopping trip. We always have a blast. And then I'll come back and I'll share with you the amazing, epic, mega thrift haul of items that I picked up in New Orleans to resell. It's a good one. I'm just gonna get the skyline. Hey y'all, this is my friend Alicia and her hair looks better than mine. <laughs> it's just, but I also probably spent like 30 minutes on it, so. Yeah, not me. I just got out of the shower. <laughs> just still look good. <laughs> so we're here in New Orleans. We made it and we are about to go thrifting. Alicia's going to film a thrift with me. Yes. So you guys will have to go check that out. And I'm hydrating y'all. Look at this. <laughs> the giant, what is that? <laughs> so anyway, we're heading into the first Goodwill that we had a lot of luck at last time. We so. found rails, Bowdoin, Everlet. We found yeah, so much, so much good stuff. Here. So hopefully they will produce again. And if not, there's tons of thrift stores in the city. So we have, go. we always have luck when we come to New Orleans. Yeah. So mm -hmm. this should be a good one. So make sure you watch this one to the end. Check out my haul and go see Alicia's video too. So because I'm sure she's going to get a lot of good stuff. Oh, yeah. All right, here we go. There's my friend back there, thrifted. You know what I like best about this store? They don't mark stuff up. Uh -uh. Look at that. She just found a Lululemon. What? Just like that, y'all. You saw it. You saw it first here. I saw it. I saw this. <laughs> That's awesome. I didn't see a tie. Okay, y'all, I am not even halfway through this door. It is insanity. I don't think I've had a haul this large in a long time, well over a year. And then so many pieces that just made my heart stop. I just, it's amazing. So let me show you. This is my cart so far. It's already overflowing and I had to get a, my own cart because Alicia is also filling hers. That's how much stuff is in this store. This is crazy, y'all. Crazy. I'm about ready to go. I'm not finding anything. Yeah, right. Look at my car. <laughs> Alicia. I have stuff for you. Look at this. I don't think I've. Okay, let me film. I'm going to show you what I found for you. Girl, I don't think I've had a haul this big and like. I know. Okay, so me and heart stopping. Do you want to buy Tux blue balls? I don't need any blue balls. <laughs> They're in perfect condition right here. Dad, Cup. These are already in the no pile. 
bummed about these Madewell pants that Alicia pointed out. There's a big hole. No! Oh, and there's some nice staining right there. Did you see that? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's extra. We got a Madewell dress that has a hole. We gotta inspect this stuff for real. And then here's the stuff I gotta sort through. Made my own little rack over here. What is all this crap? That's insanity. I mean, you know, when that's what you're buying. There's all my hangers, my haul, lots of fun stuff, lots of prints. Alicia's sorting hers. We're about to get out of here. How many hours do we spend in here? We got here at 10.30 and it's almost 1.30, so three. Wow. It flew by. Yeah, for sure. We got us a nice look. This is so romantic. I know, I feel like I'm on a date. Should we hold hands? Let's do it. <laughs> My sad little hummus. And Alicia's BAM! I'm only going through the shoes right now. Oh my, 20 minutes. It's still. Oh my gosh, yeah. I, I was, it's still big. That's what she said. There's Alicia's buggy. What is wrong here? Darn. Usually you're the one with the stacks. Alright y'all, I'm going to end the thrift with me. Make sure you're subscribed because I'm going to have a huge thrift haul with all this crap coming up very soon. See y'all in the next video. Bye. Okay, so as you saw from the footage, the first store we hit was a thrift store that we hit last trip. We had never been there before, but found some amazing finds. So we wanted to go back there first thing on this trip. As you heard Alicia say in my footage, we got there at 10.30 in the morning and literally did not come up for air until 1.30. We split the store, she was doing her thing, I was doing my thing, and when we came together after, I don't know, two and a half hours, literally my basket was overflowing and hers was pretty stacked too. I even joked with her that I wasn't finding anything and we needed to leave. She knew that was a bunch of BS. So let me show you what I got from that first thrift store. The cost of goods in New Orleans is about the same as it is in Mississippi. We have really low cost of goods. So I'll pop up on the screen how much I paid total and what my cost of goods was on average for each item. The first thing is this pair of Free People jeans. They are some high-waisted, uh, these are cuffed. I don't know if they're supposed to be cuffed. I will look up the brand. I like to pick up Free People. I mean, I get around $50 for a pair of Free People jeans that are in good condition. So I, I usually don't pass up the jeans. Then I found these marine layer pants. I've never picked these up before, but I like these patch front pockets and they're cropped with this sort of like wide leg sailor style. I looked up comps on these and they were going for around $50 too, which was surprising. So I did grab these. Also, I'm a sucker for olive. I don't know why. As you can see, I wear a lot of bright colors. I don't usually wear olive, but for some reason, I'm very attracted to olive pants. I don't know. <laughs> okay, then I picked up some Lafayette 148 dress pants, no pockets on the front or the back. They're in this like pale pink color. Um, Lafayette 148, sometimes I sell it myself. 
Sometimes I sell it, I send it into ThreadUp because I can get a better return on my money. The items I have sold on Poshmark have sold around the $50 mark, so I've been really happy about that. I went back and forth on this dress because I don't pick up this brand tons, but I did like the novelty print on it. It is Topshop, so not a very expensive brand, but it had this like sort of bubble sleeve and it was just like a short dress with a scallop trim. I don't know, really cute. Definitely goes with my aesthetic. So I opted to get it. You'll see I'm very dress heavy as per usual because I love dresses, but I didn't go through the entire dress rack. It was just too much. And I had already found so much good things that just stopped my heart. So I actually didn't even make it all the way through the dresses. And I know Alicia didn't hit those dresses either. So hopefully when we go back soon, we can go through those dresses that we missed. This is a cute little mini dress with this pretty scalloping on the front. Again, totally up my alley. It is Vineyard Vines. I don't have the best luck with Vineyard Vines. It usually ends up selling, but it doesn't sell super fast, but I usually get a really nice return on my money. So I picked that up. This item I debated on, but it is new with tags. It's Lulu's. I love to pick up Lulu's dresses, especially new with tags. Here's the tag on these, but I thought they were a cute little skirt. Um, they'll probably sit for a while, to be honest with you. Any shorts or skirts that I pick up, I mean, unless they're like Levi's or something like really trendy, then uh, they usually sit for a little bit, but that's okay. Again, my cost of goods was not that high. So um, I picked those up. Now these are some Levi's that were selling for around $70. They do have some distressing here on the knee, the like blown out knee look, and then some distressing here on the other leg. Um, here is the back of them. Uh, white jeans are coming back in style. These are the 721 vintage high rise, um, and they were sold on Revolve. So, um, they are very trendy. So I should make a nice profit on those. These are funny. <laughs> okay. So I really like to stand, sell this brand. It's beta brand. They are just some corduroys, right? So they're just deceiving, just a regular khaki colored corduroys. But I noticed this waistband. At first I thought it was like peacocks. <laughs> and then I showed them to Alicia and she started laughing and said, uh, that's like grumpy cat. So like, <laughs> it has like grumpy cat. And then the, <laughs> the grumpy cat's peeking out the pockets too. I don't know. It must've been some sort of collaboration. I looked them up briefly. But um, we were in such a hurry because we'd spent so much time there and we definitely wanted to eat lunch and head to another thrift store. So I just went with my gut and said, these are different. Beta brand sells great for around $50 for their pants. So I was like, you know what? Let me just get them. Like, we'll just see what happens. I mean, it's cats. I love cats. <laughs> okay, Alicia got this dress for me as you saw in her footage. If you watched her thrift with me, it is Bowden. I love to sell Bowden. And... It's this pretty A-line dress. It's red and pink. I would totally wear this. And it's a size 12, which is great. Um, I did pay up for this. They had this dress priced at $10.99. Most of the dresses are about $6. So um, I paid up for this dress, but I know that I'll get $50 for that dress at least. Okay, I did get one pair of shoes and they are these. Um, okay, I don't usually pick up Lucky Brand. That's what this is. They were $5.99. They are in decent condition. They have this lace up front that I just thought was cute. Um, and they are suede and leather. So I thought they were worth the risk $5.99. I don't, like I said, I don't usually pick up Lucky Brand. And by the way, this thrift store does not have the best shoes. Their clothing selection's amazing. But we don't find a lot in the shoe department. So not a place I would go to pick up shoes. Okay, this is another free people piece. This is a We the Free, just like a textured cropped with three quarter inch length sleeves and a cuffing, very cute. So grabbed her. Uh, Alicia found this piece and gave it to me. It is a um, basic tank, but it's a uh, Lululemon, again in the olive color. <laughs> So uh, she asked me if I wanted it, so I took that. And then I found some Lululemon. I know she did too in her haul. Um, she found some really good pieces, but I found these running shorts and I have sold these running shorts before for 50 or $60. So 
definitely grab them. I usually grab Lululemon if I find it. Okay, a last item in this bag is this denim skirt that looks like it's made from an old pair of jeans, but was made to look like that. Uh, raw hem on the bottom, and it is made well. All right, I'm trying to go quick, y'all, because there's so much, and I'm not even through the first store yet. So I want y'all to stick around and see all this crazy stuff. Um, and I get so excited. You may find these brands in your area, but I live in South Mississippi, and we just don't find tons of great brands. I'm better off if I travel to thrift, and you'll see that on my channel. If you're new here that I do a lot of thrifting trips with um, Alicia or my other reselling girlfriends, we go out of town and go thrifting together. It's a lot of fun and I find a lot of good stuff. So again, with the olive theme, these are some jeans, a little bit of distressing and they are free people. High rise on those, so those should sell really well. I swore I would never pick up any more Lily Pulitzer shorts but I did look up this seashell pattern and it was selling for $50 on Poshmark. Um, there were a bunch of solds on this around that $50, you know, price point. So I said, you know, what the heck, I'm just going to get them. Shorts are like $2. So, okay, these are kind of funky. I don't know how they're going to do. Um, they are made well, but they are these copper colored glitter pants. Like what, what are these? And they're cropped. They look like the same cut of the marine layer pants that I showed you earlier uh, with the cuffing on the bottom, the faux cuffing. But um, anyway, I just, they were interesting. I was like, you know, what the heck, I'm going to get them. <laughs> this is a mid-tier designer brand that I like to sell. This is David Meester. And I thought this dress was really pretty, the pattern on it and everything. And it was an excellent condition. Again, I'm looking for dresses that sell for $50 and above, so I definitely think I'll be able to get that for this David Meester dress. Okay, another pair of shorts. I need some more shorts in my stores and closet. I love to pick up Levi's. I'm very picky about the Levi's shorts I pick up, but these are great. They have the distressing, the cut's nice, and they're still in great condition, so I picked those up for summer. Okay, getting to the end of this haul. A little PSA, if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, be sure to click that subscribe button down below and give me a thumbs up on the way out. Even if you don't watch this haul all the way to the end, make sure you don't forget that thumbs up. It really helps this video get seen by other resellers floating around YouTube. So these are some Everlane jeans. I like to sell Everlane. They sell really fast. They're in a nice light wash. Just some basic jeans, high-waisted and excellent condition. So this haul really is denim heavy because I went to denim first. Um, I love selling denim. These are again, some more free people jeans. Uh, I like these because they have the raw hem on the bottom that looks like, you know, the hem was let out and then it does have a slit on the side. So anything that has added interest on these jeans are going to make them more desirable because they're interesting. All right, this is an anthro dress. It's the brand Maeve. And this is a maxi dress. It's got a really pretty print on it. Nice and flowy for spring and summer. I like that it's got a different colorway and pattern on the bottom of it. Very pretty dress. So I grabbed it. Also love when it has an elastic panel in the back because it always makes dresses more comfy to wear. And I love wearing dresses. Another Bowden item. This is just a cotton dress, but it was in excellent condition. It has these little flowers all over it and it's got the drop waist with like the peplum bottom. Very cute. I have never thrifted this brand, so I was excited to find it. It is Dress the Population and it is this nude lace dress. Beautiful. This is one of the items I found that my heart stopped, so was excited to finally find this brand out in the wild. Boy, I'm starting to get a mountain back here. <laughs> All right, last item from the first thrift store and probably my absolute favorite find was another Bowdoin dress, but y'all, it has little hearts all over it. I would totally wear this dress if it was my size. It has a belted waist with an A-line skirt and little sleeves, which the previous owner cuffed. Such a cute dress. I just love this dress. That was my haul from the first store. What did you guys think? All right, intermission while I grab the other store. All right, I'm back. So you saw in the footage from this store that we went to eat lunch after the first thrift store. 
So it was about 1.45 already and we had not eaten. <laughs> we went and ate Indian food on our little date and then headed over to Alicia's favorite store in New Orleans. That is the Salvation Army store. I have luck there sometimes and sometimes I don't, but she always finds really great stuff there. I was pleasantly surprised at this thrift store because I found so much. Like if you haven't seen the cart photo, let me pop up a picture. Holy cannoli. <laughs> My cart was overflowing. It was hilarious. Alicia was laughing at me because we didn't realize that the store was closing at five o'clock. So by this time, we only have about an hour and a half, an hour and 45 minutes to shop. And they're already calling, you know, that the store would be closing at five o'clock. But then I went over to shoes and found a mountain of shoes to buy. I don't know if they had a lot of good stuff out because they were about to have a half off sale on Memorial Day and we got there right before Memorial Day. So maybe that's why I got a lot of the good um, finds I did. But anyway, it was crazy. And I have to tell you, I had to go with my gut for most of the items on this list because I did look up comps, but I was doing it super quick because the store was closing. I mean, it was rush madhouse. All right, since we've been going through clothes, let's do the shoes first, because I got a massive haul of shoes on this thrift trip. So Alicia mentioned on her thrift with me that I'm doing Pride in Biloxi, where we live um, on the Mississippi Gulf Coast. We usually have a booth. We didn't get to have a booth last year for Pride because obviously COVID, but this year they are having Pride. So I was looking for items too to sell at Pride, and I did find these shoes which are great they're by a brand called iron fist which was a uk brand they are now out of business i actually owned a lot of it because they sold a lot of like punk rock rockabilly vintage inspired like pinup style clothing but kind of with an edge um but these are some iron fist shoes so they don't actually make these anymore but i thought these would be great to bring to pride um, again, I'll pop up my total for this trip and the average cost of goods for this store. So I thought that was a great find and these should sell super fast. Even if I don't sell them at Pride, they will definitely sell. You see me sell Minnetonkas a lot. I talk about Minnetonkas in a lot of my hauls. I'll probably get around 40 or $50 for these. Believe it or not, these are actually in my size, a size 11, but not really my style. So I'll definitely sell them. Size 11, I tend to get more money for because um, it's a lot harder to find bigger shoe sizes. So they had some black Minnetonkas that I considered getting at the store, but I opted out not to get them and just got these because they will sell better. Shout out to my girl, Tanya at Double T's Treasures, a local reseller here in Mississippi. She talked about this brand. It is Fit Flop. These are some calf hair leopard print shoes. They're flats. They don't look like they were hardly worn. You know, I'm, I'll probably get about $30 for them. So I thought about not getting them, but then I was like, I want to try this brand. Uh, Tanya has great luck with it. So um, I might not have known about these had she not said something. Y'all, I'm not crazy about picking up Michael Kors, but Michael Kors definitely has a following. And I saw these boots Again, calf hair in a leopard print, and they are all leather stiletto heels with Michael Kors right there on the back. They were marked at $12.99, so that was kind of high, so I knew I needed to look up the comps on these, but it has the uh, you know raw zipper detail that matches the zipper in the interior. Something told me to look these dang things up. So you know what I did? And they were selling for $80. Like the solds were $80, you guys. So I was like $12.99, totally getting these. I've sold the Sam Edelman style tons of times with the horse bit, the leather. These are the Linnies. They're in a blue color. It's kind of not picking up on camera, but they are like a, like a grayish blue. Um, and they are in great condition. I sell them for about 50 bucks. So um, I... Definitely was like, I'm getting those. All right, and for some exciting shoes. Okay, okay, I've never found this brand before. It's Allbirds, and these are obviously men's. This one is missing the insole, but um, Alicia said she knows her when her husband wears them, he replaces the insoles a lot. I don't think that's gonna detract from the value too much. As you know, you may have seen the talk on Instagram. A lot of resellers on eBay were Vero'd for selling Allbirds, so Allbirds went after some resellers for reselling their tennis shoes. So I will not be listing these on eBay. I will be listing them on Poshmark and Mercari. 
Um, but I was excited because I have never found Allbirds. I take that back. I found them one time, but they were in terrible condition. So I didn't get them. So these are the first ones that were in good condition that I was able to pick up to resell. A brand that I have picked up to resell, but never found shoes are Everlane. So these are just some cute little slip on mules. They still have the Nordstrom rag tag on them. They were never worn. So they're brand new. So yeah, that's a great find. Then I picked up these crazy green moccasin style patent leather shoes. They are by Kate Spade. So, um, and then they have the cute little green bow on them. I thought, what the heck, they're fun. And last pair of shoes before I get into the clothes from this thrift store. I've never found this brand down here. So first of all, we have no snow. We live in the deep south. There's no snow. But I did find these Sorel boots. They were in the men's section. I was like, oh my gosh, I found some kids too, but the kids were only reselling for 30 and they had them marked at like 10, but these were marked at $14.99 and I was like, oh yes, yes, because I know that I can get at least $100 for these. They're in excellent condition. Women's Sorel boots, love them. What an exciting find. And rounding out the haul, <laughs> let's get into some clothes from that thrift store. We have Figs, which is a scrubs brand these are in excellent condition i would say like new they're just black joggers these are comfy i would totally wear these um i have to tell you i've never picked up scrubs before so i'm excited to find um a brand of scrubs to try okay this sweater i went back and forth on alicia even saw it and thought about getting it and then decided not to it is M by Magashoni, and it's this really cool open cardigan with patch pockets. You know, the, the stitching is exposed, and it's just so soft and comfy. So I thought, I'm just going to try it. Alicia passed this free people skirt off to me. It is a faux leather mini skirt. Um, and I've actually sold a lot of these for $40 or $50. Uh, whether it's Free People or J. Crew, I always pick them up if they're in good condition because they really do sell. Um, so I was excited that she asked me if I wanted them. These two I didn't even look up comps on. This first pair, uh, they're both Free People. They're the We the Free line. This one, I've actually sold the same short where the cut goes up over the thigh on one side. And they're just some white little denim shorts and they don't look like they were ever worn. So again, I'm trying to find some more shorts for summer. These also have the button fly, but they have this rivet around the waistband, which was very interesting. Somebody could put like a ribbon belt. It is uh, cuffed on both sides, so it gives you that higher cut on the sides. Here's the back. So I grabbed those. Okay, Alicia asked me, what's the one thing you're manifesting for this trip? She's all about manifesting. And I told her I'd like to find some Reformation or Good American jeans. Well, I did find some Good American at this thrift store. It is the Good Waist jeans. They're a high rise cropped length now. It, and it does have some factory distressing on the back pockets. Very cute style. Now there is starting to be some puckering. I don't know if you can see it in the um, in the area right here where we normally get puckering, but I don't think it's going to distract from being sold. Good American is one of those brands that people are constantly looking for. I love Good American. That's my go-to jean brand, so um, I have no doubt I'll be able to sell them. This is a brand I just felt like I needed to look up. It is AYR. I had never heard of this jean brand, but I could tell it felt like quality. Um, it does have this very interesting hem that looks like a released hem here with the um, raw hem down here. All the rivets and the buttons said AYR. Something just told me to look these jeans up, so I did, and I was shocked at the comps, y'all. Like $100. So I'm excited about these jeans. And I am equally excited about these jeans. I have never found this brand before. So it is Stella McCartney and they are some jeans. They do have a straight leg and no wash wear. It does have like sort of like this um, coated feel to the jeans. Not really sure. Here's the back of them, but excited to find Stella McCartney. 
I didn't get a lot of dresses on this trip, but that's no big deal because you guys know I'm always picking up dresses, but I did find my girl, Eliza J. If you're new to my channel, I sell a lot of dresses because I love dresses and I love to sell this brand. I usually sell them around $50. This is a beautiful cobalt blue floral, just a classic sleeveless A-line dress. So pretty. Okay, y'all, we're almost to the end. What do you guys think about this crazy thrift haul? I'm so excited. The next pair of dress pants I got were some Tory Burch. These are just some classic black dress pants. They do have the welt pockets on the back. But the one thing that should make these stand out and be a good seller is that it has two little Tory Burch logos right there on the front of the pants. So anytime you have branding like that, uh, those items usually sell for a higher price point. And last item from this thrift trip was this anthropology jacket. This jacket was selling for around $50. It has like cotton sleeves that are super stretchy. Love that. The main part of this sort of like drape front jacket is like a denim. Love this camel colored jacket. Um, it does have this little interest in the back with the waistband that's stretchy. So Alicia handed this over. She thought about getting it, ultimately handed it over to me. So that is it. That is my epic thrift haul. What did you guys think? Am I exaggerating? Was that just, <laughs> was that not as exciting to you guys? Or what did you think? I'm excited. I loved everything I got. I cannot wait to list them. I know I'm going to make some great money. I did spend almost $300, but I have no doubt within a couple sales, I will make that money back and then the rest will be profit. If you're interested in learning more about my reselling journey, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. I'm always putting out reselling content. I am coming up on my second year anniversary as a full-time reseller, selling women's fashion mainly. And I hope to do some fun little videos in the month of July to celebrate my two years as a full-time reseller and share some of the wisdom that and things that I've learned and mistakes I've made over the two years that I've been reselling full-time. If you have any questions for me or if you just want to leave me a comment about some of the items you saw or some uh, of your experiences selling some of these brands, then let me know. Alicia and I are going back to New Orleans really soon. We have another trip planned, so stay tuned for that. And don't forget to go over her channel and check out her thrift with me and her haul that she's releasing tonight. So do all those YouTube -y things, subscribe, like this video, hit that bell notification, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.